That's going to be the biggest thing that we've seen all day because these mountain lions keep scaring everything and we are not going to... No, that didn't just happen. That didn't just happen. That did not just happen. So we have a pretty big problem and every day it keeps getting worse and worse. Honestly, I didn't think it was that bad at first, but as I went on, every single time I hunt Silver Ridge Peaks, the mountain lions just scare the crap out of every single animal that I'm trying to get to. It's like, if you don't take the shot within a couple of seconds, nine times out of 10, that thing's gonna be gone. That's actually not too bad a shot. Nice double lung heart shot on the run at about 190 out. But that's a pretty decent sized ram out there at about 300. And I'm kind of hoping he's going to stop and join the rest of these guys. But doesn't really seem like he's going to be doing that anytime soon at least. Wait, wait, wait. That's a real tough angle. But he just got smoked wow about 350 i would say we hit it in the heart or neck i don't know what we hit but it was definitely something pretty good let's pick up our ram and that's gonna be a 136 gold and it's actually a brown but a 337 yard double lung heart shot wow we're reserving for 167 so we had to hold high and kind of just guess and I'd say we guessed quite well. <laughs> and there's a real solid buck right there at about 300. Nice dilute doe there, a doe there. And then there's another herd right over there. And that buck there is not a bad buck. I think there's actually another buck over there. Yeah, that buck right there is actually the one we want. He's about 300 yards away. But I think we're actually gonna go for this one first at about 300 yards away. And a lot of people actually ask what rifle we're using. We're gonna be using the 270 bolt action huntsman rifle. So we'll zero in for 300. And I think if we take down this buck here, I don't think that the other buck should spook because he's about 300 out as well. So we're going to pat down this grass so we don't accidentally hit the hill. <laughs> and then we'll back up just a little bit and hold for 300 on this really nice level four. Perfect shot right there. And he is down. And let's try and get on this buck over here. I don't think he would have taken off or at least, yeah, no, he didn't. And that was a really, really good hit. I think that's actually the buck that we wanted, right? Yeah, definitely got a single lung. Okay, he's going down. Actually, I think we're going to go for this dilute doe right here. Ooh, talk about threading the needle right there. Wow, that worked out really nice. So we didn't actually see the other buck, but I figured why not take that doe down? She's kind of cool. Yeah, so we're on the far north lodge here at the Bighorn Outpost, and I came over here at 6.30 in the morning anticipating on finding maybe a decent bighorn sheep, but I looked over across this field here and there was two herds of bedded muleys, including, well, the bucks that we just took down. So that kind of worked out really cool. So here's this buck here. He's going to score a silver, but a left lung hard shot at 310. He's only a silver because he doesn't have enough points. He's kind of like a really big, I guess like a six point. And double lung hard shot at 282 on her. She is a dilute, so that's kind of cool. Then the other buck that we hit was over here somewhere, but I don't remember exactly like where he was standing when we did hit him. I think this is going to be blood from him though. That should be, yes, that's definitely going to be him. Okay, cool. What do we have over here? Uh, we got a gobbler. Actually, it's a max weight gobbler and a bunch of mule deer over there, which would be really cool if we could take down that gobbler at 150. Um, we have the bow. So we might try and throw in the 300s in it real quick if I have them. Yes, I do. Cool. But yeah, I mean, he's a max weight gobbler, so I think we should definitely try and... That's actually a different muley buck. Okay, so he's about 150 out right there. If I could get zeroed in for like 140, I'll be happy with that. There's our buck down right there too, but it's going to be kind of tricky to pull this off. Give me a little further. Four, okay, 143 will work. I felt good about that shot. I think we got him. Hard to tell. It definitely seemed... Okay, nope. I can't... I don't know why we can't hit him, though. Am I holding too low? He's running. Definitely running like he's hit. Yeah, we got him. We got him. 
Finally. Yeah, I couldn't figure out like why we didn't hit him that first shot, but so here's our other buck. Let's grab that one. That's gonna be that's actually a really cool looking buck. The one side has kind of like the main frame uh four by four muley. The other side's like a big six point. That's kind of a unique looking buck. 198 silver. But I really like that, and I think we'll get him mounted. And here's our max weight gobbler here. We hit him at 167. That's probably why we didn't get him the first shot there, because we're hitting. Yeah, we were hitting too low, and then I held really high, and then we hit still pretty high, but a 4.30 gold on that one. I think that's actually going to be a level 4, or potentially even a 3, because he doesn't really weigh that much. But either way, we're going to take him down. It's a 5 medium. You know what? That could be a 4. Are you kidding me right now? That stupid bottom line just growled right before we took the shot, and the buck bolted. That one's a little bit better. That's a five medium and he's about 260. Let's see if we can't get on him. Nice double long shot. Should be the same size as, yeah, very similar to the one we got yesterday. 259 and uh, really, really wide buck, but left lung at 154. Ended up with only a single lung because he was quartering away so much. That's why he ran so far. Looks like we ran into another max weight gobber out there at about 140 and I think he's going to come a little bit closer maybe to like 1, 120 or something like that. So hopefully we can get him to slow down enough to be able to take a shot. Yeah, he's about like 140, 130, 140 right there. I think he's going to stop. I'm actually zeroed in for 130. Look at that. That is one smoked turkey. I wouldn't say we smoked him, but definitely got him. I think we hit him a little far back, actually. And he's going to score 4.4, 4, 145 yards. He was walking, so that's why we hit a little far back. But that's not bad, though. 145 yards. Got another massive buck out there. I think that's actually going to be a huge level 4, but he's about 360 out. So we're going to try and get on him before he decides to uh, do anything funny here. See, the thing is, he's probably going to come in and get a drink, but their drink time already ended. So he's not really going to stick around for too long. When he does come in, we're going to have to take the shot pretty quick. Tell me you're going to stop right there and face us. Oh, I was about to take that too. Going for a neck heart shot, and I think we hit the neck, but that's okay. Because that's just as good. Look at that, there was a couple more bucks in there that we never even saw. Nothing too special, but you know, that was actually one of the more tough hunts that I've had lately for True Rack Muley. We're on a multiplayer and it still took quite some time to be able to find a couple of decent bucks. I mean, this is a beautiful buck here, but this is kind of like our biggest buck that we found. So we'll pick him up and he's going to score 256 and honestly, we did catch the heart. I was thinking we might catch the neck or the heart or both, but looks like we caught the heart there and right lung at 270. And I think we're going to be finished off with this 256 gold muley buck. That's going to be the biggest thing that we've seen all day because these mountain lions keep scaring everything and we are not going to... No, that didn't just happen. That didn't just happen. That did not just happen. Are you absolutely kidding me, mountain lions? You're not going to mess up our hunt. Whoa! Perfect shot. It looked really good. That's what I'm talking about. Man, these mountain lions are really something else. Got a decent bighorn there too. This hunt has really been something else. I've never been interfered by so many mountain lions in the entire time I've hunted Silver Ridge. It honestly seems like it's getting worse and worse every single time I hunt it. Some of the times I go to the spots that I normally see a bunch of animals, including some really beautiful bucks, and now I don't even see a doe in those spots. It's like, and I know it's because of the mountain lion, because eventually I'll come back there and the mountain lion won't be there, and then I'll start seeing big bucks again. But anyways, here's our mountain goat, and he is a diamond, 112 diamond. We hit him on the run at 167, and that actually was a perfect shot. How do we have some more penetration? That would have been a running left lung and heart shot. But a 112 diamond mountain goat. I am so happy to have this guy. It's not even funny. 
So 107.60 is minimum for diamond and we got a 112. So we definitely got a pretty good sized diamond and I'm really happy with that. And I think that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope that something happens where the mountain lines start to thin out or something. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.